Welcome back guys to aesthetics and today we're gonna do uh, example 119 from the book okay so it's a, a concrete column has a diameter of 350 millimeters and a length of 2 meters if density is 2.45 megagrams over meter uh, cubic determine the weight of the column in pounds okay so in order to determine the weight of column, we need to remember that weight is equal to mass times gravity, okay? And we know the value of gravity, but we will need to find the value of its mass. So the way we can find the value of mass is knowing that density is equal to mass over volume, okay? But we know the density, which is given but we don't know the volume, so we also need we'll need to find the volume in order to find mass after solving for mass in this equation. So if we solve for mass, mass is actually equal to density multiplied by its volume. Okay? So we need to find the volume of this concrete column. So um, the volume of a concrete column, or in this case, this is a cylinder. So we will find the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is going to be pi multiplied by r squared also multiplied by its height. Okay? So, according to this, it's going to be pi multiplied by r. In the example, they're giving us the diameter. So, we will need to convert this diameter. I'm going to do it over here in the little corner. So, the diameter, the radius uh, it's half of the diameter. So basically R is going to be equal to 175 millimeters. And we can also convert it into meters, which is actually 0 0.175 meters. Okay? So that's the actual value of a radius. So we're going to put it over here, 0 0.175 meters. And we're going to it and we also need to multiply by its height well its height is actually two meters so we have two meters and then using our calculator we can find the value which is pi multiplied by 0 0.175 squared multiplied by 2 and we get that the volume in meters of this column is 0 0.192 meters cubic, cubic meter, okay? Uh, so, we're going to use this formula that we derived from the density formula. So, at the end, we get that the mass is going to be equal to the density, which is 2.45 mega so if we look at mega it's times 10 to the positive 6 grams multiply but we got what we got in our volume because we need to multiply density times volume and our volume is 0 0.192 meter cubic and I forgot my cubic meter at the bottom on this unit. So, when I multiply these guys, these cubic meters cancel each other, and I'm left with grams, which is a unit of mass. So at the end, mass is going to be equal to, using our calculator, we we'll multiply the answer we got before by 2.45 times 10 to the positive 6, and we're gonna get 4,471,000, I'm sorry, 435 grams, which we can approximately round it up to 471 kilograms, okay? Okay, so after we found the mass, we can find our actual weight. 
So weight is going to be equal to the mass, which is 471 kilograms, multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared. And then after this, we're gonna find also that Uh, my weight is 4,624 newtons. But wait a second. They want to find the weight in pounds. They don't want them in newtons. So for this, we're going to use our conversion factors that we used in our previous video. So we're gonna do 4,624 newtons. And we're gonna use our conversion factor, which was equal that one pound is equal to 4.45 newtons. So by using our conversion factor, our newtons can cancel out and we're left with pounds. So we need to divide our 4,624 by 4.45 and we're left with that weight in pounds is actually a thousand and forty pounds uh, you may see in your book that the answer is 1.04 kilo pounds so this is the way that you put kilo pounds okay and that's it that's the answer for today thank you guys see you guys in the next video okay